Hey everyone and welcome back to Time Value Videos. This video is going to cover technical analysis, uh, how to automate the buy and sell signals based on the simple moving average crossover. Uh, we're going to try to make this automated so that you can put any ticker you want and any date range and also any time interval. You can put daily, monthly, or weekly data, uh, run the macro, and it'll generate a buy and sell, a buy or a sell, uh, based on uh, the simple moving average for the 50 day and the 200 day moving average crossover. There are other intervals that you could do. Some people like to do a 10 day moving average or a 100 day moving average, but the 50 and the 200 day moving average are by far the most common that traders use. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna use those as the example. I'm gonna use Caterpillar as an example and I'm just gonna use the year of 2015. Um, so before I get started, I need to say that none of this is supposed to be uh, investment recommendations or investment advice. Um, don't trade based on any of this um, without doing your own research first. I uh, just need to get that out of the way before I get started. So great. Um, now I'm going to assume you have the macro that pulls in this historical data already. Um, if you don't, I'll put an annotation down here in the bottom corner uh, that links to my video that shows how to get this. Uh, basically it shows you how to write this macro right here. Um, and all that will do uh, is pull in the data. If you wanted to change daily to uh, monthly, it'll pull in the data uh, so you get monthly data. Um, but we're going to start with daily data. Um, you could change the dates, you can change the ticker symbol, it'll pull it all in. So uh, the annotations in the bottom corner, if you need that, um, click there and you can go write this code first and then come back to this video to see how to implement the moving average crossover um, part of the automation. So um, with that out of the way, so we're going to start with the 50-day uh, simple moving average and then we're going to have the 200-day simple moving average. And so it's very easy to do. A moving average is just the average pr of the uh, previous 50 days from any point. So the 50-day mo simple moving average for today is today and the, f the previous 49 days before that, so for a total of 50 days, it's going to be an average of the, the previous 50 days um, worth of, of price closing. So we're going to do H2 through H51, and that's 50 days worth of data. I'm going to hit enter. Uh, and just to show you, if you move this up, if it was H1 through H50, that would be 50 days. But all I'm doing is just shifting it down by one, so it's two through 51. And that's 50 days right there. So I double click on the bottom right corner to drop that formula all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I'm gonna do equals average of H2 through H201, and that's the 200 day moving average. Um, and that's the same, um, data range, just an extra uh, number of days so that it's 200 uh, days for that moving average. Then I'm going to drop that down also so that it covers, so we can see at the bottom that we have uh, the simple moving average uh, for the 200 day and for the 50 day. So then I can go, um, I, I'm going to go to the date, I'm going to hold down control, and I'm going to come back here, I'm going to highlight the close, the 50 and the 200. I'm going to insert a chart so you can actually see what it looks like. And this chart right here is actually not very useful to look at. You can't really tell what's going on because it's so small. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and I'm going to move it to its own sheet. I'm going to hit OK. And so chart two right here shows, um, it's a little easier to see, but it's still not that simple. So I'm even going to maximize this and even then it's not that good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Y axis. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to do format. And I'm going to change my uh, range for my y-axis and I can see right here none of the data that I'm looking for goes outside of 60 or 90 so I'm gonna go ahead and change my minimum to 60 and my maximum to 90 and then hit OK or close hit close and now I can really see this chart and so uh, previous to here all the the red and the green line are the same because there's not enough data to calculate um, so beyond that right here we have the uh, the red line, which is our 50-day moving average, is crossing up through the 200-day moving average. So that generates a buy signal. And the reverse is true here. We have the 50-day crossing down through the 200-day, and that generates a sell signal. That's a bearish crossover, and this one's a bullish crossover. So it's nice to see this chart and say, okay, great, those are our, our signals that I purchased there. Or um, at that point, when I, if I had had sold, which is what the signal would have indicated, I may have been profitable in the future had I sold immediately right then on that spike. Um, <clears throat> but really, uh, it, this this macro or this 
this uh, Excel sheet is going to be much more helpful if we're actually generating a buy and sell signal explicitly on our sheet um, so that as the day happens it says buy or sell. And so we're going to do that with a um, with another column and we'll call it buy sell. And this will be our actual signal that's being generated. So looking at the chart is fine if we want to go click around a bunch, but I would much rather just get the signal um, and then run this so that the data comes in and updates on the spot. So what we'll do for a buy sell signal, we need to have basically two conditions need to be met. Uh, let's start with the buy signal right here. So it, the two conditions need to be that the 50 day starts out below the 200 day and then it ends above the 200 day. So it needs to start below and above. If both of those things are true, if it started below and ended above, then it will be a buy signal. Over here we can say, well the 50 day started below but it ended still below. So that's not a buy signal, that's just staying below. So it needs to start below and end above. And in order to do that, we're gonna need the, um, the 50 day and the 200 day right here. So to, to the, the formula in Excel that uses conditions is if, because we're gonna have if uh, the, 50 day, the 50 day is below and the, fi the, previous, or the previous 50 day was below and the, the current 50 day is above. So in order to generate uh, that signal for two conditions, Anytime we need two conditions, we're going to need to use either the and or the or. In this case, we're using and because both need to be true. We're going to say if the 50 day is currently above the 200 day and comma and the 50 day used to be below, if it's currently above and it used to be below, then that's a buy signal. Otherwise, if and if it's currently below the 200 and it used to be above the 200, then it's a sell signal. Otherwise, if neither of those are the case, then there's no signal at all because it's either gonna be a buy, a sell, or nothing. We don't wanna generate buy and sell signals if there's no crossover. So I'm gonna put double quotes says to tell me nothing. So I'm either saying buy in quotes means tell me the word buy, sell in quotes means tell me the word sell, and quotes, two quotes by themselves with nothing between them means tell me nothing. Um, so then at the end of that formula, I'm gonna go ahead and close my parentheses. I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see no, no signal is currently b being generated, so it's telling me nothing. If I double click right here, it scrolls down. It's still telling me nothing for a long time until I get all the way down to this sell signal down here. This sell signal says, on that day, you should have sold. Um, and so if we look at eight, seven, eight, 10, 810 was that sell signal day. If we go back to our chart, we can look on here. I'll click on this line so you can see it. There we go, and I'm gonna hover over that and it'll show me the date, hopefully. There we go. So that was 87, so I'll just go slightly past. 812. So that was our that was our sell signal generated right there. Um, and we can actually look and say the sell signal was generated at a price of 79, and the current price is 74. So that that in that point in particular was would have been a uh, somewhat profitable trade um, by just looking at the price change. However, that doesn't mean all buy and sell signals will be profitable, so you should do your own um, back testing to see if, if this is actually a good indicator. But now that we have that buy sell signal um, generator right there, now we can change this to any other um, stock we want. So I'll say GOGL for Google. I'll get data. We can see if there's any buy and sell signals. Uh, looks like there are not. So, um, MCD, we can just ch try a bunch of different ones. Um, go look around. Looks like there's no signals there either. Uh, but we do know that Caterpillar does have two signals. It has one buy and one sell. And so if we look, we have the sell signal there and we have the buy signal there. So we know it works. It just happens to be that the two stocks that I looked at didn't have anything. I do financial modeling for a living, so if you need any Excel projects done or you need any financial analysis done for yourself or your business, feel free to book me at my, web at my website, rpgastadvisors.com slash contact us. Uh, you can fill out a form right here to send me an e email and I can get back to you as soon as possible. Or if you just want to book an initial consultation right here, you can click on this and go through the process of setting up a Skype meeting. Or if you happen to live in Northern California, you can meet with me in person um, and I can help you with any projects that you have going on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.